Colts fans, this is Brad Wells from Stampede Hulu and SB Nation. We're recapping the Colts' 20-13 win over the Buffalo Bills, moving Indianapolis to 7-4 on the year, which really is kind of amazing considering where me and many of us thought this team was going to be at this point in the season. Uh, this is a frustrating game to watch. I'm happy that they, they won the game, but it was a really frustrating game to watch, mainly because the offense had multiple opportunities in the red zone to score touchdowns, and they didn't do it. They were 1-3 for three in the red zone today against the Bills defense that was ranked 25th overall adjusted by our own Matt Greco in his winning stats ranking. So it's frustrating that they didn't score enough touchdowns, but that frustration is tempered by the fact that they won the game. And one of the main reasons they won the game, probably the reason they won the game, was a breakout performance by T.Y. Hilton, the rookie wide receiver out of Florida International. T.Y. Hilton scored two touchdowns on the day in two different ways, which was a Colts franchise record. His first way was this 75-yard punt return for a touchdown. This is the first time a Colts player has scored a touchdown on a punt return since 2007, and it was T.J. Rushing. So we have T.J. Rushing scoring a touchdown in 2007 and T.Y. Hilton scoring a touchdown today. That was score number one. Score number two, was a touchdown reception in the third quarter where he did a great job keeping his feet in bounds in the back of the end zone. That score right there, for all intents and purposes, iced the game. It got the Colts up, and it was one of the few times they got into the red zone and scored a touchdown. However, Colt defense almost choked this game away, and, and no play exemplified that more than Tom Zibikowski intercepting the ball uh, from Ryan Fitzpatrick with about 4.43 left in the game, and then on the run back, he fumbled the ball, and the Bills recovered it. Now, the Colts defense held on that play, but that play just could have been a complete disaster and almost cost them the game. Thankfully, it didn't. Another player that had a great game today was Reggie Wayne. He set an NFL record with 59 straight games with at least two receptions. That's significant because one of the guy whose record he broke was some guy named Chris Carter. Maybe you've heard of him. Reggie Wayne has just had a phenomenal season this year. He's going to go to the Pro Bowl, and I think this season's going to really push him to be a, you know, we're talking Hall of Fame here. When you break a record like that, you get serious Hall of Fame consideration. Now, one of the most important things about this win is that the Colts are now 7-4, and four, and they're really in the driver's seat in terms of the playoffs. The Pittsburgh Steelers lost today, and the Tennessee Titans lost today. And the loss for the Titans really kind of kicks them out of playoff contention. I don't think they're going to win five games in a row to get to 9-7 and seven to maybe get in the playoffs. So the Texans are still at number one. We got Baltimore and New England kind of around two or three. Denver at number four. Colts at number five. And Pittsburgh still at six. Though Pittsburgh's situation right now is a bit shaky because of the injury to Ben Roethlisberger and they lost today to the Cleveland Browns. So it really puts the Colts in great position in terms of the playoffs. You just have to be happy that they won the game. Not really happy how they won, but just happy that they won the period. For Stampede Blue and SB Nation, I'm Brad Wells.